All right, well, it feels like the hits just keep coming for Arkansas. This massive winter storm sweeping across the country, tamaring the state with freezing rain, ice, and even snow. And that's causing widespread power outages for thousands of Arkansas residents. Yeah, it's been messy there. Joining us now is Brandy Hinkle with Entergy Arkansas for an update on the situation. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Thanks for having me. And Brandy, we've been watching Arkansas since yesterday and seeing the ice just kind of pile up for you guys. Can you update us all on the numbers as to how many residents uh, are actually without power? Right now, we're sitting at about 22,000 Entergy Arkansas customers without power, but that's down from our peak earlier today. We had close to maybe 30,000 at one point in time, but that doesn't include the 20,000 that we did restore power to throughout the day. So we've had quite a few outages thanks to that freezing rain that really clung to all of our power lines and tree limbs and brought more power lines down. All right, well, we can see the areas that are experiencing the most power outages there. Is, um, is there anything you want to tell those folks or is there any kind of um, ETA on when maybe power might be back for everybody? Unfortunately, we are still doing a lot of assessment and scouting because of the tremendous amount of damage. There are places that we can't quite get to. You know, all of our power poles and lines, unfortunately, aren't on nice, clean streets. Sometimes they're in rural areas and fields. And so we've had to clear a lot of downed tree limbs and other kinds of debris to get to those places. Tomorrow, we hope to have some drones in the air so we can get to those really hard to reach places, assess the damage, determine what our needs are to repair, and then get those crews and that special equipment out there to do that. We know that some people will not have power until tomorrow, and there may be others that go into the weekend, unfortunately. But the best way to do that is to check our website and log on to our app. And they can also check again on our social media. We try to uh, let our customers know and keep them informed just as much as we can. Well, and you kind of alluded to the fact that really no break or relief from this storm so far. And we saw video of trees that were completely knocked down or split in half because of the weight of the ice. So when you talked about that kind of hampering the efforts of the crews getting out there, now we're thinking about how long could it be till power is restored? So how much is it hampering and how long could that push back power returning for some folks? Well, again, it has just made travel really difficult and treacherous, not even on the main roads, but again, on more those rural areas and off, outside of roadway. So if we have lines and poles that are in a rural area and off road, it takes a little more time to get there. We have to have special equipment. We have to have chains on our trucks. We have to have ice cleats on our boots. So it takes a little bit. And a lot of it is boots on the ground to actually assess that damage and scout and see where we have the most damage. So it has hindered our ability to make those assessments and make the determinations about what repairs we need to make. Tomorrow should be a lot better. Hopefully overnight it won't compound that freezing rain too much so we can get a lot more done. Unfortunately, again, we know that there will be some customers that go into the weekend without power but we're working just as quickly as we can to safely restore power to as many Arkansans as we can. Well, Brandy, I have to tell you, we're seeing all of the wintry images there on the left side of the screen, but that background of yours sure does make it feel like spring. I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> you know, we get all the seasons in Arkansas. We've had them all this week. We started out with thunderstorms. <laughs> We've had complete. So uh, it, you can get any weather you want in Arkansas. Just stick around. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. Just, just wait five minutes, right? All right, Brandy Hinkle with Entergy Arkansas. Thank you for that update and for joining us on Fox Weather tonight. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way. So make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.